So today I'm going to, this is actually requested by one of my YouTube friends. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say his YouTube name, but I'm just going to say it anyway. Dominic's Trains and Movies SD45 um, suggested I do a video on this. And I also suggest you subscribe to his channel. Please, let's help him get back to 1,000 subscribers again. And anyways, um, this is my N-Scale set. So I have a Bachman. Um, DP38, I believe, DP48, Norfolk Southern locomotive. I have a 50s, well, actually, I think it's older than 50s, PC, SEPTA PCC trolley. Um, this one is still used in, um, Philadelphia, I believe. That's where this is from. Well, it's a model. And then this is an older truck I have. This is an N scale 1956 La France model or toy or from Hot Wheels. Um, I don't think they make those anymore. I picked it up from a set. I lost my other N-Scale La France, which shouldn't come to a surprise. They're extremely tiny, but yeah, not as tiny as T-Scale. T-Scale trains can fit, like, are as wide and long as this finger, so. Obviously, N-Scale trains are not. So, I'm going to run the trolley first and show you guys how smoothly this one runs. Put it on this. I uh, probably shouldn't put it on the curve, but that works. That works too. This on. Damn it. There it goes. Now, one thing I notice is that the faster it goes, it has a little light on the front. Um, see, it has a little light. The so faster it goes, the brighter that light gets. <clears throat> that controller's a bit broken, so it doesn't work the way it should. Track over a bit. I don't want to get electrocuted because I this track got beat up so much, and then like I don't know what to do. So this is it at night. You probably can't really see it much, but there it is right there. Yeah, that's that model. Um, if I had a, wish I had a, like a wider room to show you. My room is currently a mess because of the box that this track comes in. We'll slow it down a bit. Let me show you the model now. So, here's a cute little model. Um, in fact, I picked it up at a place called Train World. It's in Brooklyn on McDonald Avenue, I believe. I picked it up for a good twenty dollars, I'd say. This was a, that was a decent price for this. Um, extremely tiny. I don't know if you can see right there. But there's a little um, image of a person there. <clears throat> Same with all the other windows, except for the back one. Yeah, there's a little antenna there, right here. So I'm going to put that back now. <clears throat> I'm a little sick. I'm a little sick. Don't worry, I'm not too sick. I'm, I don't have COVID, so at least I hope that. All right, next we're going to take out the Bachman and scale in Norfolk Southern. Now. There's another FDNY YouTuber that also likes Norfolk Southern. I, I forgot their name. Something like FDNY 828120. Eight, eight, I don't know. I don't know. It's another FDNY YouTuber that they do Norfolk Southern videos too. Personally, I love Norfolk Southern. Although, <clears throat> I've heard um, that they don't take very good care of their trains. Which, honestly, I am... To believe that because I have seen it myself. I have firsthand seen it. But my other my other favorite um, railroad company would have to be BNSF, or um, uh, probably yeah, I think that's it. BNSF. Oh crap! Is it running correctly? Okay. 
there's always something wrong with this train. I don't know what's wrong with it. It never, I mean, it sometimes runs right, but at other times it doesn't really run too well. It was I did pick it up for pretty cheap, though, to be fair. I picked it up for really cheap. Um, it's like, at, what was it? Something like $19, I think? Not even. It was, yeah, around $19 I picked this up for. But yeah, this one also has lights. And then it does that. Dang it. I have to fix the track a little. It's so dark, you can't even see it. Yep, I think something is wrong with my model. I will this right. is the set I use. I use a Kato power pack for Unitrack. Um, Kato is Japanese, so... This is broken. Um, I don't remember how this broke or why this broke in the first place. I think... I don't know, it was malfunctioning or something? I don't even know. So there we go, it's just running slowly. Okay, let's see if this finally will work. Nope, something is definitely wrong with it. What if I put it into reverse? Oh my gosh, it's stingy. It smells. It doesn't. It runs on so much electricity that it smells at times. So. All right, so there isn't really much to see here. Um, I really have nothing fascinating about my set. I don't have a variety at all. I have an Amtrak train, but my ACS-64 locomotive is broken, so. Um, let me just get my locomotive into the other hand, okay. not really much to see on this one you can't really see anything actually so it's so dark but shake it around there's something loose in there I think that's why it's not really running right I mean from day one it wasn't really running right so funny thing is if you all have some people who are watching this who have been on my channel since the very beginning um, would know that I got I didn't well actually no, I didn't say that um, I made a video called the Virginia Railway Shop or something like that. Um, some, yeah, something like that. And I got it there. I did a video on a model of France Tiller I saw there from Corgi. I still want that model Tiller. Don't get me wrong. I still want it. So, so the other crap that the trolley came with. I might leave this set out overnight. I know I've done it many times before. I know I won't step on it or anything plus it's the trains that i get worried about the track i could get more track any day but i'm currently limited on space so not really like that will be happening anytime soon um yeah so now i'm going to show you my other amtrak trains my other amtrak just because it's a mess over here this is embarrassing Open this up, it's like a book. The book of model trains. Eh? What do you think? I'm kidding, I don't care. I don't I know a lot of people on this channel are not here for trains, so I'm sorry. <clears throat> if you thought I had some sort of model fire truck, super rare model fire truck, this I don't I don't have any of those. I just picked up some semi okay decent code 3 stuff um so yeah these are all my amfleet one cars from amtrak the Amt these run fine these i don't have any problems with them it's just some of the steps are broken but whatever not many people seem to notice like all the people that i've shown it to they don't seem to notice that the steps are gone which is miraculous to me so this is a dining car interestingly enough i did a video where i was actually on this train 
like this exact same train, same number, same um, everything about it. I was on the, um, I think this is Northeast Corridor? I don't remember, but the, it's the this is the same number I was on. I was on number 621. This is broken, by the way. This is, I wanted, I tried to get a replacement, but when I went to Virginia, man, boy was I pissed. I couldn't get one because it was like a hundred dollars. A hundred freaking dollars. That's why I kind of wish I had HO scale at times, but I'm still grateful to the fact I even have N scale because. So I've been told that N scale is like way too expensive, and I see why. This my dad helped me out, helped me buy this. I bought. I had a hundred something dollars saved up. My dad had, of course, he well, he he's awesome. So. It was my birthday anyway, so he helped me out. He helped me buy this for 200 something dollars. Frankly, I suggest Train World because, <clears throat> well, first of all, I've been going there all my life. Of course, none of the guys there know me because it, it keeps changing all the time. The employees there. Some of the employees that were there before I didn't see last time. And yeah, so... That's it. Well, I hope you guys, for, thank you for watching, and um, if you want, if you have any more questions about um, Kato or the models I have, please feel free to comment and ask me in the comments. Um, I will not be exposing my email, so don't ask for it. Alright, bye.